Hello everybody, welcome to the Gyrocopter Flying Club. Regular viewers may know there's been some handbagging lately. One viewer believes me to be a disgusting individual with drivel for commentary, while the instructor of a pilot I featured struggling with his Cavalon takeoffs joined others in the peanut gallery. So perhaps it might be useful to restate what I've said many times before. Any critique or use of others' flying films to convey a message is focused upon the flight safety message for my channel, whose followers now number around 6,000. To put that in context, that's around double the membership of the American Popular Rotorcraft Association. At the same time, nobody is going to engage in either dangerous or crazy, suboptimal flying just to film it so that they don't offend others. Of course it also proves to the viewer that the problems I'm explaining really do exist and it's not just some false construct or figment of my imagination. In today's film I'm going to cover areas of gyroplane training which can be overlooked or aren't of huge focus. Firstly the spiral descent or spiral dive. To be clear this may be being covered as part of unusual attitude training, but certainly I don't think it has enough focus and neither do I think the context around how this situation occurs is well enough explained. Away from spiral descents, I also think that the way some emergency field landings are taught can also set traps for the novice or inexperienced. What is a spiral dive? Well it's a flight condition that is caused by allowing the nose to drop during a turn, particularly a steep one, and the pilot on seeing the nose below the horizon tries to remedy his situation by applying backstick to raise the nose. And at its onset the attitude may not seem that unusual. However, because the aircraft is in a turn, all that happens with the application of backstick is that rather the nose being raised the turn is tightened and the rate of descent increased. Of course because the pilot continues to see the dominant visual cue of being nose low he continues to pull backstick which continues to fail to bring the nose to the horizon rather it further tightens the turn or by now we're in a spiral. The risk now is overstressing the airframe and rotor. In the UK the spiral descent is expressly mentioned in exercise 4E and a recovery from a high speed descending turn. The recovery being close the throttle, roll level and then once the horizon has been reacquired then pitch level. So where is the snag? Well as always it's giving the time and attention that not only gives an accurate narrative to the student but also the full context of how this situation can occur. Again the question to be asked is just how much the student understands this outside an environment that has a ground pre-brief and then an in-flight instructor demo. Another potential snag is created by certain emergency field landing techniques where if one finds a suitable field, but you're too close, some encourage the use of flying a continual kidney shape just downwind of their chosen field in order to lose height. The problem with this technique is that it absolutely is full of snags. Aside from just how well the student's understanding is of how far this kidney shape should extend, turns away from your chosen landing spot means you lose visual references. And you're also doing a lot of nose low turning maneuvers giving energy management problems. As always the old sage won't see the problem but those snags are there to catch the low time and the inexperienced and we always find they're the ones that crash. Keep flying safely.